So let's pretend we are interested in grain elevators and we're not happy with just seeing lots and lots of those in the uh, in the Becher book. Here's something that you might find interesting, a book called well, Grain Elevators. And it's kind of, if there are books about books, books about photo books, maybe this is a book for a book. This is kind of a complimentary, uh, well, unintended complimentary book for the Becher Grain Elevators, and it was actually published before the Becher book. Well, regardless, um, part of the reason why I find this interesting is, well, I think this will become clear once I start looking at what this is. So I'm just going to skip the first few pages and, and get right to the middle of it, and you get an idea immediately of what these people are trying to do. So here you have the urban elevator as opposed to the rural elevator. So this is going to get uh, very detailed. And if you have any more doubt, there it is. Scales and sizes. Um, so this is something you, you obviously don't get from, not too well from the Becher books. And so here you really get to see all the different types of elevators and the materials and whether they're in urban or in, in rural settings. And, um, and and you can tell that the photography, even though it wasn't done by the Bechers, is positively Becher-esque. But it gets better than that. If you like your photography Becher-esque and you like snazzy diagrams like that one, then this is obviously the book for you. It's really rather beautiful. I don't even know why. Well, I bought this book because I was kind of fascinated by the fact that somebody would, would create a whole book about grain elevators. And I just love the idea that, I mean, I suppose it is uh, scientific in a way, but there's this this obsession that's, that's going into this, you know, translating an image like that, very Becher-esque, into a diagram like that, and then that gets translated somehow. I, I didn't read this thing, but, you know, I only look at the pictures, that's good enough for me. So this gets translated into this, and then you get all these different ways of looking at the structure can't really get any better than this. And well, you're familiar with this, except that this is not, not Becher photography, but it serves the same purpose. And more diagrams. So this is really, um, you know, everything you always wanted to know about grain elevators, and you never dare to ask. Um, so this is a series of photographs where you're approaching the elevators, and you can see them at um, separate separate distances, I suppose. I don't know why that's interesting, but, you know, somebody might know. And then it continues, and I, I just, I'm just fascinated by these diagrams. I don't even know what they mean, but they're visually very attractive to me, at least. Um, this, um, and just keeps going. There's a concrete elevator and more diagrams. These diagrams actually look like um, I almost want to say mathematical diagrams or, you know, chemis chemical diagrams maybe. We can imagine that these are molecules maybe. Or, you know, you have the connections between different atoms here. I don't know, it just triggers so many things in my in my mind seeing this. And um, this is actually why I bought this. Well, now it goes into town planning, so this is where it gets interesting for people who like stuff like what they do on building block, for example, or on Archinet, if you're familiar with those kinds of um, blogs, they look into you know town planning, and again you have all these. This is probably not going to focus well, but you have all these diagrams that show you where you can place your grain elevator if you want to build your own city. I guess might be useful if you play SimCity if you're one of those people. And even more diagrams. It's just. Um, really beautiful and I found this book at um, at the Strand bookshop and it was I think it was 20 bucks and I, th I just couldn't I couldn't walk past this book see isn't this beautiful it's, it's sort of like the structure you would see in a, in a church maybe in a church window in a cathedral except here it is um, well whatever it is right plants of bins I guess this is the bins that are in this big ele uh, elevator building, just seen from the top. 
So it's very fascinating. And um, unlike the, the Becher books, of course, there's, there's photography that shows uh, vastly different views of these structures. So if you're interested in this kind of industrial, um, I don't know what you would call this, industrial structures and how they're built and made and what they're used for, this is really a perfect book. And it's if you have the Grain Elevator book by, by the Bechers, this is the perfect complement to that. So uh, there we go. Try to find it somewhere. I think on Amazon they have it. Probably you might want to try alibers.com if you don't know the site. Grain Elevators. It's a beautiful book.